Steve O'Brien, what have you done to this audience? They're mad already with your chair and your whip. You've been flogging them. No, this is this is the sort of a game that you can get into. We were back there talking about what happened yesterday, and today's a new ball game. We have a new player partnered with Shelly Smith. Rachel, I am told. Rachel. <laughs> Gober? Gober, yes. Uh, what do they call you other than Rachel? I uh, get called Rocky a lot. <laughs> uh, would that offend you if I call you Not that? Not at all. If I don't, I'm sure going to either call, gonna call you Rachel, Raquel, or something. Go with offensive. Rocky. What do you do, Rocky? I'm a wife and mother of two daughters. And what are their names? Randy and Rebecca, age four and one. Terrific. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. The two Roberts are together over there, uh, cemented together for the rest of the day. Uh, uh, Robert and Robert, what's your firm resolve? You gonna win this thing? Uh, Why not? Yeah. yeah? Good. How do I? How will I see? How am I gonna work this out? Uh, Father and mother. Is he, do either one of you go by a nickname? I'll take Bob. You've got Bob, and he's well. All right, then. <laughs> Bob Cassell uh, is a teacher who picked up $200 yesterday working on 15000 Gentlemen, let the ladies go first here. Shelly, we have, uh, let's see, oh, um, who's who? Ship ahoy, toppers, to tell the tooth, a walk in the woods. What would you like? To tell the tooth. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh. An angled seven is as good as a flat seven. <laughs> There's a little shot there. If you do get seven out of seven, you get a $500 bonus. Describe these things you see or hear in a dentist's office. Um, you can't see pain, can you? Uh, things you see or hear in a dentist's office. You got 30 seconds. If the cuckoo rings out, we'll talk about it after it happens. Okay, stand by. Ready? Go. It's not closed. It's open. Open. And you look at yourself in a mirror. And they, they inject this to make no you know. pain. Right. And this is a tooth in the back. It's your incisor, your upper, molar, right. your wisdom teeth. And this is uh, what you cross over a toll, the Brooklyn Bridge. Right. And this is uh, swabs that they take to soak up the blood. cotton, gauze pads. And uh, this is when they hit with this, it really hurts. Oh, you've got a lot nerve. of. Right. That's it. <laughs> Michelle has won herself a $500 bonus. Robert Mandon makes his first choice. Robert? Oh, um. Oh, um, at the top. Bobby's going to describe these words that end in the letters U-M. These words end in U-M. Ready? Go. Hmm. Hum. Uh, banjo. Uh, uh, what I do to a banjo. Strum. Uh, 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 not a cooperative, but I live in a... Condominium. Uh... Uh, teeth are made of milk has a lot of in it calcium uh, if I, st I dick is standing at the podium uh, uh, a bad part of town slum uh, a kind of flower uh, chrysanthemum has an odor of various uh, um, <laughs> oh. uh, geranium geranium Germany what else can I, say? I don't know how the W you get geranium Germany about. maybe that's a uh, bottle that's a toughie. I, yeah. don't, I can't think of anything that makes it Sorry, terribly understand. distinctive. Seven to six. Rocky, what would you like? Oh, we're going to choose toppers. Toppers it is. Describe these things that are placed over other things. Things that are placed over other things. Ready? Go. <coughs> okay, you spread it on your lap when you have dinner. Uh, napkin. Okay, you use to sew it. You put it on your thumb. Uh, a thimble. Okay, uh, you put it on a container. A lid. Close it up. A man wears it, a three-piece suit, it has a... A vest, jacket. Okay, it's in the fancy word for an umbrella. A par parasol. Right. Uh, you put it on your catcher so nobody will uh, soil it. Uh, I don't know. A plastic... A, cover, a woman wears a... a garter. dress. A uh, slip, a uh, slip cover. Right. Uh, not a... Uh, you wrap it around when you have a... a Tourniquet bandages. Right. That's oh, it. just got that. No, we only got Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I must have drifted there. Did you have perfect score the first time? You yeah. got six yeah. out. What were so we those here, six guys? Cover. cover? She slip said cover. the word cover? Oh, yeah. Under um, slip cover? Uh, I'm very sorry. I, I, I usually pick up on that. It just went right by. I didn't All right. 
Just a ding-dong minute. There's dissension in the ranks here. Your fellow candidates to play on the show are over there mutinying on me. Uh, we'll get a definitive uh, thing down from upstairs in a second. Robert, please, uh, or Bob in this case. Okay, we're gonna go ship ahoy. Ship ahoy it is. Describe these things associated with the Navy. Yes. Things associated with the Navy. Ready? Go. Okay, underwater boat. Submarine. Okay. These are the highest rank in the Navy. Admiral. Okay. This is what the Japanese bomb. Pearl Harbor. Yes. This is what you up from a submarine. Periscope. Okay. This is, yes, yes. It's attention, salute. What he says, the letter, one of the vowels. Oh, A yes. E I. Okay. I. I, I. Go. Okay, not West Point, but. East. Not West Point. Annapolis. Okay. And this is uh, where the uh, plane's on the, on the ship. The aircraft carrier. Right. That's got it. Yeah. I ran out at that point. Right. The vowels in the ship. Good. Ladies, I have good news. In the interim, they have checked the videotape, the audio tape. The problem was they couldn't discern which female voice said cover first, ah. and the score is incorrect. It is 14 points. You are ahead by one point. <laughs> All righty. That puts the heat on the guys. Robert and Robert. Sounds like a legal firm over there. Bob, what do you want? I'm going to take it, and Robert and I are going to go for a walk in the woods. Walk in the woods it is. <laughs> Describe these things associated with a forest. Okay. Things associated with a forest. Ready, go. Okay, in Sherwood Forest. He took... Robin Hood. Okay. Okay, when you chop down a tree, you yell... Uh, timber. Okay. Uh, a doe or a... Deer. Okay. Not thin, but... Fat. No. Thick. Right. Okay. Th uh, there were two characters. They went into the forest... Uh, Oh, go on, go Bambi, on. Snow Bambi, snowball. This gathers, a rolling Moss. stone gathers no, okay. And this is the deer, Robert De Niro, the deer. Hunter. Okay. And the two characters, uh, the German names. All right, that's it. Hanson and Greta, I don't know what the hell. Oh, Hanson and Greta. Did he tell you the names, Robert? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Weren't they going after the, the to the gingerbread house? Or the gingerbread something? house, yeah. yeah. Oh. Gentlemen, you have a five-point lead. That's pretty comfortable, but the ladies are working on a perfect score. Rachel, you Rachel, I love that. Rocky, <laughs> do you want Shelly to give? I'd like Shelly to give, right. please. Uh, let's see what we need. Twenty points to win the game. Twenty-one's a bonus. If you do skip one, there's time left. Rocky, you can go back and get it on your own for the bonus. Describe these famous people. Famous people. They need twenty. Ready? Go. Uh, married to Kennedy, now married, then married to Green. Uh, Jacqueline Onassis. Right. And a famous playwright who did The Odd Couple, Barefoot in the Park. Neil Simon. Right. And this is the guy who's head of Egypt right now. Uh, Sadat. And right. why Sadat? And this is a very rich guy who had long fingernails and died. He was an eccentric millionaire. Howard Hughes. Right. And uh, this is a guy who used to host Miss America. Now he's Bird out. Bird Parks. Right. And this is uh, the most famous emperor of Rome. A Nero. No, the most famous one. Oh. Didn't fiddle. He conquered all of Europe. Oh. Vini, vidi, vidi. Let's go okay. on. Uh, this is the uh, Philharmonic conductor, the New York... Lennon Club. Bernstein. Right. All right. Julius <laughs> you Caesar, you're going to kill yourself. Oh, my God. One Pardon point. Pardon salad. I wouldn't throw it. Oh. Julius oh. Caesar. salad. I should have said a salad. <laughs> Ladies, congratulations. Robert, you won it by a point once and lost it by yes, a point. Yes, that's uh, a the good news part is you picked up $200, and it, it sounds like Howard Hughes died of long fingernails. <laughs> uh, Everybody uses that. Also, she told me if perfect I had, description. For Julius Caesar, if I had said salad, she would have gotten it right away. Terrific. <laughs> if you two had had a chance to talk this over ahead of time. Let's go try for Hurting. Start healing your sore mouth now with Campophonique Gel. It concentrates on you. Concentrates full-strength medication right on your cold sore. Stops pain instantly. And puts an emollient germ-killing shield over the sore to help speed healing. For cold sores, fever blisters, lip sores. For cuts and bug bites, too. Campophonique. It concentrates on you in liquid or gel. Meal time! Meal time! Now you can feel extra good about giving your dog meal time. New improved meal time now tastes meatier because now it's basted with rich meaty juices. Meal time starts with real meat and bone meal for meaty taste. And now it's basted with rich hot meaty juices for even more meaty taste. Your dog will love it. 
new improved meal time. Now basted with meaty juices for more meaty taste. Does it? Does he? Uh, we're having a little private talk amongst ourselves. Does he let that be mentioned? Uh, oh, Oh, well, you say something about it. Well, today's my husband's birthday. Yeah, there you go. Wow. <laughs> like to, like we will dedicate this okay, to him. We'll dedicate it to him. This could be, uh, could be one of those rare occasions when you go home to your old man with the ten thousand dollar birthday gift. That's you know? right. Uh, okay, so. so let's let's make it a birthday gift. All right? so. Concentrate on one another carefully now. <clears throat> Here's your first subject. Go. Uh, a fire engine, a siren, things uh, in a firehouse, uh, a circus, uh, 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 music. Uh, things that are loud, things that are blaring. Uh, things, stereo music, a fire engine. Things, um, things that are... Traffic. Let's things that are noisy. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's great to see you again. I haven't been back to school for 10 years. Uh, you look what'd great. What'd you say to class reunion? Uh, Coco, Garner, um, um... James, famous James. Uh, shaving cream, um, certain birth control methods. Things that are foamy. <laughs> Success, a new job, good luck. Um, things that are elusive, things um, that you start, uh, things that you wish people. Yes. Okay. A negligee. Things that are sheer, things a, that are a sexy. A lady's negligee, um, a paper, a card house. Uh, things um, that are flimsy. A feather. Yes! This is not the old man. This is a brother. I was, I was looking and saying, well, there's a happy husband. It's not. It's not. This is your brother? How are you? Very nice to see you. So, yes, yeah, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Yes. Your husband, uh, unfortunately, is not here, but don't tell him. Now, you say this. When will this show air, Steve? What is the air date? The 29th of May. You tell him you had fun. <laughs> you go home and you say, I want a couple of hundred dollars. And then you let him He'll watch. <laughs> or better yet, you go home and spend the money before he can find out you want it. <laughs> <laughs> On that happy note, we'll be I back right quickly. after this. Quickly, I can do that. Yeah, we thank you so much. Oh, God. Oh, God. Then your husband said, okay, I got somebody coming home for dinner, and you're going, what am I going to do? You don't get off work until 6 o'clock, and you got to pick a kid up. And you're going, when am I going to fit all this time in my schedule? And I have a tremendous tension headache. Headache case book, Diane French French, needs strong pain relief, but is bothered by aspirin, stomach upset. Recommendation, Bufferin. Recognize strength for tension headaches. Yet it adds so much stomach upset protection, many can take it instead of Tylenol. Basically, what I take for a headache is Bufferin. It oh. works fast. Bufferin. It's strong on headaches, easy on the stomach. A little change in hair color can change things a lot. I hadn't seen him in years. He said life sure was agreeing with me. I didn't tell him about nice and easy. Turned me from invisible to invincible. But I did my research. Nice and easy sells the most, so it has to be good. And Clairol makes it who knows more. Nothing is easier. It shampoos in big, beautiful color and gleamy, glossy highlights. I love my cinnamon color hair. It lets me be me. I am stuck on Band-Aid brand, cause Band-Aid stuck on me. Me be too mo mommy Band-Aid, me be too fool, why not? Cause they hold on tight and wrap up and they cling and so be stuck. Only Band-Aid brand adhesive bandages from Johnson & Johnson have our super stay on adhesive. You'll notice the difference, cause it stays on you better than anything else you can buy. Half my summer wardrobe is in this paper bag. And it's not a sundress, or a t-shirt, or even shorts. It's Johnson's baby oil. But I wear it with my t-shirt to help keep my arms soft and to help hide peeling. And with my shorts to give my legs a healthy glow. With my Johnson's baby oil, a beautiful summer is in the bag. Johnson's baby oil, you've grown into a summer beauty oil. From Johnson & Johnson.
Well, we just had a $10,000 winner here on the $20,000 pyramid. I suppose it's conceivable that somebody doesn't know the rules. You play for a round. If you win it, it's $10,000 try. If you don't win that, you try again. Then it's 15. The same applies to 20. You either win it or uh, lose it, as the case may be. I have two new players, John Champion joining Shelley. John, what do you do, sir? I uh, work for a major magazine publisher. He's always mystifying to me. Is it bigger than... Because some fight. <laughs> <laughs> two in a row. <laughs> That's like that famous breath mints. Two, two, two. In a row. <laughs> aisha, aisha. Um, enough of this craziness. We're very happy to have you here, Robert. Your partner's name is Margaret Villard. Margaret, uh, you got Hi. some children? Child or One, two? six and a half month old baby boy named baby Julian. Boy. Yeah. Where are you from? Originally Alabama, but I'm a New Yorker now. Yeah, you don't have any Alabama accent, right? I lost it. You want me to and put dollars? it back <laughs> over there? You, do you drop back into that when you... When I'm tired or a little bit under the weather or, you know, either way. Well, but most of the time I try to keep on top of things. All right. We'll be looking to hear how you, <laughs> how you put all those thoughts together and spit them out.